I'm here now with John Oliver. What a breakthrough first season he had on HBO, making his mark with smart and surprising sketches like this one right here, a Supreme Court played by nine talking dogs. Mm -hmm. Last week tonight with John Oliver returns on Sunday to HBO. John joins us now. So where does that come from? Who's sitting around a table saying, I know how to cover the Supreme Court? Dogs. Well, I think first it's coming from what is objectively funny, dogs dressed up as humans. That's just Always. a fact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Whether they're playing poker or acting. Exactly, Supreme exactly. Or Supreme Court justices, that's <laughs> even funnier than shooting pool. Uh, so, no, it was, uh, we, just, we just wanted to try and show how absurd it was that there weren't cameras in there. And uh, then there is nothing funny than real animals fake paws. <laughs> so we put it together. And we heard, we heard that they saw it. I heard that... Yeah, Ruth Bader Ginsburg liked it. Yeah, right? I heard that Ginsburg saw it and liked it, and I heard that Scalia saw it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start. And I, I love the metric you have for the stories you're going to do. You're looking for either high degrees of difficulty yeah. or high degrees of stupidity. Yeah, exactly. Those, those are the kind of two lanes that we're in. We'll, we'll, either tr we'll try and do a main story, which is sometimes complicated and doesn't seem funny at first, second, or 35th glance. <laughs> and if we end up doing something very serious, we will usually end up doing the stupidest thing you've seen on television that week. Well, but yeah, you say stupid, but on the other hand, people have been getting a lot out of it. And, and in fact, what you've been doing on Sundays has been called investigative comedy. They can call it that. I think it's just <laughs> comedy. I think there's an extra word at the start of that description. Yeah, it's, it's just comedy. We, we, make we want to make sure that what uh, the jokes we're telling are built on facts. Uh, and sometimes we have to go truffling around for facts that uh, uh, are not immediately available. But no, it's comedy. It's comedy. So how does it work exactly? You're looking at some stories that, that have been percolating for a long time. What happens on a week when, like this week, this whole Brian Williams thing? Pops I don't up? know if we'll. I don't know if we'll look at that. Because I think w normally we like to wait. You know, we're, we're only on once a week, so we're late to everything anyway. So we've generally moved towards being even later, and we'll try and wait until. The hubbub has died down, and then we'll look at it with a bit more perspective. So, yeah, we're not, we're not, I don't think we're going to be looking at Brian Williams. No, this week. And, and, and how about something like the Downton Abbey, the congressman who decorated his office? Well, like that's too Abbey. tantalizing. <laughs> as, as a comedian, there is, look, there's blood in the water. So we might tune in for that. Well, he, listen, <laughs> I, look, I'm, if you cut me, do I not bleed? If you put a congressman with a Downton Abbey office in front of me, I don't know what you expect me to do. Yes, that is catnip to me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, when, you, when you look at it, you are doing comedy. You say you want to make people laugh more than anything else, but it's got to be gratifying that you've also made people think. I guess so. I guess so. That is like a, that's a pleasant byproduct. But you know, the main, main thing we're doing is comedy. So if, if you get to the end of a joke and someone is just thinking, you have failed. <laughs> you never want an audience at a comedy show to say, I thought all the way through that. That was quite <laughs> contemplation for the whole time. Now, really, it's a very visceral way to judge comedy. If there's not laughter, you have objectively failed. And you've had an amazing life on YouTube. I have had an amazing <laughs> life on YouTube? What, are you about to throw me getting hit in the nuts by something? <laughs> I could, but you know what? We're running out of time, so you're saved by that. <laughs> okay, John Oliver, thanks very much. Oh, the pleasure. show comes Thank back you. on Sunday night.